Hey, Draymond, I just was curious to get your thoughts on this. I was talking to Omri Caspi, and he said he felt so comfortable playing this system because it reminds him of the international game. And I was saying to him, you know, I'm an old, older guy, remember how basketball used to be played in this country. It's almost like it's come full circle. You've grown up in this system, so you may be taking it for granted. But what's it like playing the kind of system night after night that a lot of teams are now starting to, you know, the team you played tonight is doing the same thing. They're trying uh, to do you. Um, you know, I think it's great. Uh, you know, obviously, I think basketball kind of, it goes in waves. You know, there's one minute the game's like this, the next minute it's like that. And right now, uh, you know, we've had the most success over the last three years. And, you know, when, when you have success, teams are going to mock that. And so, um, I've been seeing not only them, I've been seeing quite, you know, quite a few teams, um, you know, starting to kind of take that philosophy. But at the end of the day, it's been great to kind of, you know, grow accustomed to this system and, and be a part of it. Draymond, dur during this stretch, the defense, we've, we've talked to you about that the last few days. But uh, on a night when you block five shots, uh, do you like your line on a night like tonight or – or a night where you're knocking down a few threes or somewhere in the middle? And, and also just what has it meant to have so many guys contributing to this winning streak? Um, I mean, it's been great, you know, to have, like you said, so many guys contributing in different ways. Uh, that's you know, what we talked about early on was our depth, and guys have stepped up. Um, but also I think that, you know, we've been a lot better on the defensive end, which has been the key um, to this streak. And, you know, I, I like a line like that, um, you know, with – kind of shows that you did everything on the floor and not just one thing. So I definitely enjoy, um, you know, having a stat line like that if, if it means anything, I guess. How much uh, did you enjoy your first game against Embiid and how much was he talking out there? He kind of said the other day he was going to. Um, that was fun. I mean, it, you know, he's one of the guys who I watch play in. You know, one of my favorite things is when he get a foul on the guy. I didn't like it tonight. You know, he got the first foul on Zaza. I'm like, he going to foul out. But I love when he, you know, when he draw fouls on guys and he look at their bench like, hey, get the, get him out the game. You know, get them out the game. That's, I mean, that's that's how I grew up playing the game, you know. And, you know, he is he is all of that. So, I enjoy it. Um, you know, he said a little bit tonight. Uh, I'm expecting, you know, we talked after the game. I'm expecting a little bit more. Um you know, a little more words when they're at home next week. And, you know, <laughs> it should be fun, though. But, you know, when him and Kay start barking at each other, like, I don't understand why that's a double technical. Like, it's basketball. Like, I think the fans love to see that. You know, as for instance, when me and Dennis Smith, you know, had said our words earlier in the season. The referee let us talk, and then we continued on, and the game continued on. Like, double tech guys for that, I really don't understand that. Like, it's – the end of the day, it's basketball, it's entertainment, and that's entertaining. It's not like they're disrespecting the game, they're disrespecting each other, they're not into each other's face, barking. They're saying something and walking the other way, like, it's basketball. So why won't you let that happen? That makes the game more fun. It hypes those two guys up to go at each other even more. Then the game gets better. It gets more interesting. So um, I'm a big fan of it. You know, I'm a fan of the way he played, the way he carries himself, um, you know, the the talking and all that, I like it. I think more guys should be that way. Hey, Draymond, when you look at Kevin's game tonight and even th just throughout his career, what do you take away from just his ability to be efficient in all areas of the floor? <clears throat> um, I mean, that's you know that's one thing K prides himself on. You know, he he really prides himself on you know efficiency. Um, you know, not getting. 29 points on 28 shots. You know, he really – and, I mean, he's a special player. You know, he – 29 on 18 shots. Um, like, that's – not many people can do that. So, it's – uh, I mean, it's great. Obviously, it's great for us, but that's been, you know, him his entire career, and it's, it's a special thing to watch. It's a special thing to be a part of, to play with someone like that. Draymond, when you play with an upcoming talent for the first time, is there like an approach like um, I'm going to send a message def defensively? Um, I mean, you definitely want to send a message. Um, you know, just you should always have that approach when you're playing against someone for the first time. And every time, you know, that's just we compete. That's what we do for a living. So I think you definitely have that approach. Um, you know, also playing against these guys for the first time, Ben and, you know, Joe, I watched a lot of film on them yesterday and just – 
you know, try to figure out what they want to go to because it's like they've been they've been wreaking havoc over there, you know, in the East this this year. So just kind of been watching. Um, like I said, I watched a lot of film on them yesterday just to kind of figure out some of the things, some of their habits, and try to, you know, stop them. But, you know, they're both special talents and going to be really, really good in this league. Draymond, did this, this thing turn for you guys with that loss to the Pistons or with the, the way you guys ran over the Clippers down there the day after? Um, I mean, I don't think it necessarily turned with either one. You know, we – we know what we're capable of. We knew we just needed to lock in and focus. Uh, our focus level wasn't there in that Detroit game. Uh, mine, in particular, was horrible. And, you know, we knew, all right, it's time to turn it on. Uh, you know, it's time to lock in and focus and win some games. And so uh, we've done that, and most importantly, it's been done with the defense. And once we picked that up, we knew we'd win games. Uh, it was just a matter of focusing in and doing that.